Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be making a start on the Blighted Expedition for No Man's Sky. This was released a couple of days after the Outlaw update was released in early April 2022, if you watch this in the future. The reason we're currently looking at the initialized expedition screen is that I can't, yeah, for some reason, I can't record the the initial screen. And I just want to give you guys a bit of a background because when the Outlaw update was released, my first reaction was great. We've got a really challenging update for once. And I was looking forward to starting a new Permadev series, but because this is the Easter weekend, I thought I'd put it off to, well, until the upcoming week started. Then of course, Hello Games released the, the Blighted Expedition. And my initial reaction was to try and run the two side by side. And then I thought, no, I'll just get myself completely confused. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Blighted Expedition then have a short break of about a week and then I'm going to start a new permadeath series because I think because looking at the release notes for the Outlaw update I think that's going to prove a really interesting challenge for permadeath now we're going to hit the button we're just going to go in on the usual load screen now I've deliberately avoided any gameplay on this mission so I've got absolutely no idea what this mission entails although I'm assuming it's going to be linked to some of the mechanics that are in the Outlaw update <laughs> It looks like we're either on a toxic planet or a radioactive planet, which is the usual great start that I'd normally have. Scanner damaged. Scanner damaged. Now, my plan is that I'm assuming we're going to have to look for my ship. So what I'm going to do is do the initial survival steps, get to the ship, and then we'll take a look at what we've got to do in the expedition. Yes, thank you, game. This looks like there's something just on the horizon there. I've, I'm, okay, expedition. It seemed to be in the middle of. Uh, I'm just going to come in here because I, I can't play in third person. Uh, whoops, I want to play. Um, so we'll just get in here. I've got to get rid of that. Mm, just have a quick look. Got a little bit of a mess there. I'm not going to worry too much about this. To start with, uh, we've got to get some carbon and so the first thing we're going to need is some carbon in order to repair the scanner so we're just sap this initially it's because we can't scan anything until we've got that there uh, this should be enough just to make a nanotube get the multi-tool that right scan see if we can find the ship where's my ship there's my ships over there 528 units so we're i think we've got time to do a bit of scanning there's one we're going to need some money because i'm assuming we're going to have to do the usual start and repair the ship so we're uh, just grab what we can here. Um, okay. right, we're going to need the dihydrogen, so we'll grab that straight away. Because we're, we're bound to. I'm pretty sure we're going to need the dihydrogen to repair the ship. Scan that. Right, there's uranium there that, that could be useful because we can use that to um, fuel the thrusters. This is definitely a radioactive planet. Yeah, it's got radon there. So we uh, want to make sure we got that. Let me just grab all this here. Let's just see what we can get. Um, ships that direction. Any anything else around here? Scan that. Get a look. Look, see for any sodium or anything like that give us a bit of protection what's that over there copper um oh i think we might need some copper we, we need a terrain manipulator can we make a terrain manipulator we need a nanotube and uh Let me just get the technology 
Oh, we need two. <laughs> My mistake. The reason I'm interested in this copper is simply down to the fact that I can almost guarantee that we're going to have to repair something or... Oops. So if we can get a little bit of copper, that just make life a little bit easier. Right, we're going to have to be a bit careful here. Just grab as much of this as we can. Then we're going to have to leg it to the ship. Uh, I think that should be more than enough. Right, where's the ship? Where's my ship? Ship, 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 ship. Where are you? It's over there. Right, we're going to have to kind of charge off in the direction of the ship. But... We're we'll try and scan everything we can. Make a bit of money. Scan this. It's a nice source of carbon. I mean, luckily, Expedition is on normal mode. Therefore. You can be a little bit relaxed with respect to uh, your environmental protection. The game is a little bit more forgiving. Uh, that's the theory anyway. Um, uh, just, whoops, just been zapped by a... Um, right, let's just get through this long grass. It was, somebody just stole, Somebody just wanted to step on me. <laughs> What's that there? Right, we got something there. We'll just grab you. Not seeing any sodium at the moment. A bit of uranium. We'll take that. Um, some sodium just there. I'll certainly grab that. A little bit more dihydrogen. Right, I've nearly run out of uh, fuel for my multi-tool. Multi-tool up, we should have not that much. Right, I think we'll just head for the ship now. 125, it's not that far away actually. Wow, we're actually next to a base. Oh, that's pretty cool. We can just get some good resources from this. First mission complete. Compass reached the starship. Right, so it looks like we got the first mission, first step in the mission. Right, so we're here. Iteration something something. Yeah, thank you online. Atlas connection sabotaged. The ship seems to recognise me, but something is wrong. The damage to the core components are not consistent with a crash impact. Someone has deliberately tampered with this vessel. Presence in the galaxy is unappreciated, Traveller Anomaly. We are watching you and you are dangerous. Do not repair this ship. Do not pursue us. Okay, we'll trace the source. As I attempt to probe the source, the message itself destructs only to cl close the signature of the messenger, the blight. We have no memory of provoking this animosity and the tone suggests that it is the work of interstellar pirates. We should further repair the ship and investigate further. Okay, well, that's, that's the nature of being a no man's sky. So we need some... Pure ferrite, dihydrogen, metal plating, hematic seal. This pretty straightforward stuff. So look now, we, now we can kind of relax a little bit. We're going to need to make some there. I'm going to get rid of the rocket launcher. It's not my life. Oops, deconstruct it. Sorry. Dismantle. That would give us some condensed carbon and some copper. That can go. Put that in the high capacity. Put that in the high capacity. What have we got here? We got a nice big pot of copper that can have capacity as well. Radium, mordite, a little bit of sodium, a tiny bit of uranium can go to the starship. Fuel the ship. We've got a little bit of silicon, a little bit of ferrite dust. Um, everything's a little. Oh, we ah, we got a personal refiner. Oh, that's brilliant. Not sure, where we got a manual save, but um, I think um, we view up to there. This can go in the technology slot because we won't be able to charge it that easily. What do we need to charge it? 
Oh, we can charge it with uranium. Um, everything's a little bit mismatched. We'll put the life support up there. Um, I think that goes with that. So we've got a refiner. Right, so we so we don't have to deploy that horrible manual thing that comes. Um, so, right, starship. So we need the chromatic metal to repair the hyperdrive. That's the reason I got the copper. Right. Metal plate. Thank you, game. Add that. Um, dihydrogen and your ferrite. So we need to get back to the exosuit. Uh, we, oh, we need to put some condensed carbon in. Make the pure ferrite. That's good. Radioactive supercell approaching. Thank you, game. And we've got the hike. That can go there. What we'll do is we'll put copper in and turn that into chromatic metal. Did we collect the reward? Right, next thing I want to do is I'm not exactly sure where we were on phase two, but right, we're going to collect that reward. What that gives us is 10 iron batteries. 10 life support gels, right, thank you game. And uh, a dodgy movement beam as well. And so, not here. Suspicious movement thingy bob. Uh, all that. I can actually just put this up. Put you up. Put you in there. Right, back. What have we got to do expedition wise now? So we've got this here. The next one is repair our starship. Then we got to liberation. Something it's not even. That's junk. It says the mission milestone is currently blighted. It will be revealed as the hunt involves complete clipped wings milestone. Oh, so they've actually, um, so they've actually encoded some of the missions to stop you jumping ahead. Red skies is we've got to visit a red star. And then we've got to go to rendezvous one. Uh, rendezvous two is well, that's the first thing. Blight, this is also encrypted. Um, lawless sky, visit a pirate system. We've got to get 16 gravitino balls. That's going to be fun because uh, the gravitino balls are normally on planets with sentinels, and grabbing them can be quite exciting. Then we've got to visit a green system. And then rendezvous three, deploy a submarine. Again, they've got another bit that's encrypted. Reach the ocean depths. We've got to go 80 units underwater. Well, that'd be interesting. I'm not sure we could go that deep. So then we get sunken antiquities. Inquire an aquatic treasure. Um, rendezvous four, boundary failure. Eliminate 25 sentinels. We've got to steal a, a sentinel pillar multi-tool. That is the pillar thing that turns off the sentinels on a planet. In some ways, that is a complement to that. So if we could find that, we could then do that one. So what we might be looking for is the sentinel pillar. So what we're going to have to do is go to a planet with um, aggressive sentinels. We've got to go to a blue system. We've got a treasure hunt here, which tells us absolutely nothing. And rendezvous five, and we got to recruit a pilot to our squadron. That's a new feature of the Outlaw updates. Let Galactic Defender shoot down 32 pirates. Now that is going to be space combat. Then we got something else encoded, something else encoded. So we got a lot of stuff that's actually encoded. It's quite interesting. Uh, I don't know whether if I'd taken the other option, that would have I would have got a little bit more information. Well, it seemed to be out of uh, stuff. So I need to get into right we're going to need to first thing we're going to need to do is get out and grab a big pile of carbon but what we can do is fix that right so what we need is a pile of put that in the high capacity put that in there what we need now to repair this 
is um, some pure ferrite. I thought I had some pure ferrite. Did I? I'm sure I had some pure ferrite. Yeah, I've got pure ferrite. What am I on about? I'm trying to do too many. So we've repaired the ship. What we need. It. We just need some more dihydrogen jelly. I don't think we've got any more dihydrogen, have we? Yeah, make that. Yeah, I'm jumping around at random. Okay, we've now completed another milestone. We've repaired the ship. Okay. Thank you, game. Um, we'll get into here. Back to number one. We got three warp cells, three warren looms. We got a band launch thruster upgrade. That's good. So we've got the warp cells. Let's get rid of that. Reinstall that. Move that there. So the last thing we got to get everything up and running so that we can go to the next system. We need three microprocessors. So what we need is to check this place out. We need some um, money, some nanites, all of uh, not. Got you. Don't oh, wait. Don't oh, run away. Grab the carbon here. Um, scan you. Yeah, I know. We'll be okay. So, what I need to do now is collect a pile of carbon, a pile of ferrite dust. Anything that's going to make us some money. Uh, so we're we'll just grab as much of this as we can. Um, I need to concentrate on the carbon because I need, don't certainly don't want to run out of carbon so that I can't recharge my multi-tool because that would be embarrassing. What have we got for carbon now? Okay, we've got 150, 199. Just do that top. Have this and this, and we do the combination of the two. That should work. Uh, grab this. We need some more dihydrogen as well. Just without a scan here, there's a little bit of dihydrogen up over there. Actually let's just go in and check inside of here. We should get some nanites. Got our first nanites. Um, anything in here? Oh, you got some navigation data. Nope. <laughs> got some more nanites. Oh, there's normally uh, some da damaged machinery in here. Get you, get you. What have we got? Um, where's the base here? I'm going to have to get around the other side. We'll just pick you up on the way round. Always have problems finding the doors on this. Yes, thank you, game. Where's the flame? I I don't know why you attacked me, but oh, I've obviously walked all the way around just to come back to here. Certainly take that there. <laughs> Should be able to take the block, but well, we'll take that. 
course we can't get into the inner chambers because we don't have it and we got a callbacks cool observatory um standard terminal so it's it'd be eight seven two seven three because it's just a rotating sequence and um, we've discovered a location in the stars signal detected thank you game Let's take stock of where we are. I've got some ammunition, a little tiny bit of ammunition. We can go to the high capacity, we can sell that. Uh, at the moment we got 12,082. Now to repair the warp drive, we're going to need three microprocessors. Um, okay. I think before we leave, we're just going to throw a scan out, see what else is around here if we can pick up anything else Oops. a lot of unidentified plants here for some reason another one of these gaily creature types we've got you yep and you Got you, got you. Another one just there. I think what I will do is just have a look around and see if we got any quick wins with anything nearby us, nearby that's we can pick up. Are we did I do the cargo container? Just go a quick sky over there and check that. If we got anything here that would be. Of course, while we're here, we can also drop a manual save, a bit more projectile ammunition. We can turn that into ferrite dust. Right, we've got one microprocessor. That's pretty good. That's going to save us a bit of money. That we can't mine because we don't have an advanced mining laser. We can grab this. So uh, let's come in here. Oops, no. Scan again. Got a little bit more of uranium. Oh, Stim. <laughs> Might we can get that one. And um, we'll just grab these and then we'll be on our way. So next stop has got to be the space station so that we can get the microprocessors to be able to. Uh, any more creatures around? No, nope. okay. Onto the ship. She haven't checked the ship out actually. What have we got? C class. Hmm. We got some wiring looms from that. We're going to. A little bit of uranium. Can I make some ship fuel? Right, we need dihydrogen, which I haven't got a lot of actually. Sorry, guys. Is there any dihydrogen around here? I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very quick kind of skip on uh, on planetary level, so that we can. I'd like to go up into space with. There's at least some dihydrogen. Plus, there's an maybe there's an opportunity to make a little bit more cash. What have we got there? An ancient ruin over there. Well, that would make us a part of money. We've got floating crystals, a sentinel depot. What is a right? Okay, let's just go check this guy out. I think so. Somebody's actually built a base here. That's pretty cool. That gives us a free landing point.
to make sure that we can signal booster. Oh wow. Oh, um, oh grab it. Oh we need some hazmat gloves. <laughs> Right, there's a... Um, I'm not sure I can do this. What is what is this down here? Lemonum, lemonum. I'll destroy them. Okay. I think to get some hazmat gloves we'd have to go there and then although this is a little bit of a cheap really isn't it um <laughs> we're gonna pass up on the gravitino balls we'll just move on if any of you guys want to do the gravitino ball one very quickly that is probably the best way to do it what I wanted was some dihydrogen, wasn't it? So maybe we'll just go out and see what we can find. Uh, just like over here. I mean, technically we could put down anywhere, but uh, just see. Oops. Well, we got a bit of a valley here, so we'll just go over there and just put down and see if we can pick up some dihydrogen and some other bits and pieces to make some uh, ship fuel so we'll just put that here we'll just scan out yeah there's some dihydrogen just over the horizon here get that there Grab this. One thing I haven't picked up yet is any oxygen, actually. Come to think of it. Let's grab this. Get oxygen in there. Um, find that. Find that. Um, nope. Get to make a full plate. And I'll make one of those. Do, could do a little bit more actually if there's any around if not we'll just have to find another planet to kind of go and say hello to you already there's some dihydrogen down over there a little bit of um, some uh, sodium as well. We can this. Got crystals which we haven't got an advanced mining laser to be able to pick up. So uh, just pick this up. Oops. Overheated the what we call it. A little bit of sodium over there, but. I think that is about it. We'll just keep the multi tool topped up. Um, we'll just make our way back to the ship. I'm um, collecting everything in sight as we go along. A little bit more. Oh, I'll get some oxygen from this guy. Could have scanned him first. Grab this. Yeah. Fly back into the ship. Turn, let me just see. Wow. <laughs> That can go into the starship. Got enough to make. Oops. Got enough to make another one of those. Two of those. Get the starship. 
put that down there. Should be able to make two of these. Oh, no. Nope. Start with this one. What am I short of? Dihydrogen again. Oh, I'm not collecting as much dihydrogen as I was expecting. Right, I think it's... What we'll do is we'll put the rusty metal in there. We're out of fuel. Put some carbon in there. That can go in the high capacity. The magnetized ferrite, that could be useful. Put some paradise dust in there as well. That can go in the starship. Whoops. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but right, I think we're now ready to take off. We've got some dihydrogen jelly. I'm and that can go to the starship. Right, I'm happy now. We're going to take off and we're going to head for the space station because our next mission is to rescue an interstellar freighter. Now, I'm working on the assumption that if we... I'm working on the assumption that if we go repair the warp drive and go, in, and go into space, we will be some of this stuff as well get some silver and some titanium this is what I don't want to run out of my pulse drive oh someone's got there's a base there it says sentinel tower Oh, um, that is tempting as well, because if we get a sentinel tower, we could do gravitino balls the other way, plus we'd also move forward that other mission. But what we'll do first is we'll just get into the space station and see what we can pick up there. In fact, let's just... And at the moment we got 16,000 credits and not many nanites. So I was hoping to dig some salvage or tech, but I'll right, we'll just get over here and uh, fill off the spider sausages and get rid of the gamma root. Don't think we need the magnetized ferrite, the radium, and I want to keep the chromatic metal for the moment because we might need it. A little bit of sodium. How, how much do we need to repair the ship? Wait, out the way. Um, starship repair. We've got one of three, so we need two microprocessors. This is where the game says that I don't doesn't have any to sell. One microprocessor. You've got to be kidding me, game. Normally you got piles of them. Luckily there's some traders coming in, so we should be able to get another... Oh, go away. Materialise, please. Yep, yeah, thank you. Wait, don't go away. What a microprocessor. Trade. Yep. Oops. We need one, don't we? Um, got some... How much is that going to cost me? 13,000. I don't think we need 56 of them. We'll get another 11 of those. Anything else? I wouldn't mind some oxygen if he's got any. No, nope. iron batteries. We've got life support. We'll get a couple of those. We don't really. Oh. The other thing I want to do is we're we'll up over here and we'll get the ship up. Do upgrade. It should only be ten thousand credits. So Five thousand. Okay, we'll take that. So that done. We've got no nanites to buy any upgrades or anything. And so we're kind of pretty well. Oops, I've got some silver and platinum here as well. What to sell that? I think we will go and sell that because I'm going to need the space. To, uh, Let's get up here. 
That'd give me a little bit more extra cash. Uh, so, the platinum, silver, and we got gold as well. So I seem to have got into a bit of an infinite loop there as well. Damage. I just bought some microprocessors. Bought one. I thought I bought one from the. Doesn't make sense. I just bought two. Did I sell them by accident? Okay, let me just get back to you. Okay, okay let me just. Thirty-eight thousand. We don't have thirty-eight thousand. Okay, we're gonna have to go and make some money. <laughs> Probably because I shouldn't have done that ship upgrade. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll go and check out this bit of an oddity. You know, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I'm gonna go and see what this Sentinel Tower is. I mean, if we're going to go and make some money, we might as well do it in style. Yeah, thank you, game. It looks like we've got a great big base here. Um, not seeing a... a Oops, someone's built a pretty big base and I've just got tangled in it. Ah. Um, right, let me just look round and see what we can find. There's a landing point there. Okay. Just go and... Looks like the Sentinel Tower is actually... Curious. I'm gonna go up the steps, guys. I'm just curious to see what's actually up here. Uh -oh. Yeah, thank you, game. Stop telling me. Ah, just fell off the footpath. Now, in theory, if we can get in, that's the control pillar. The teleporter. That's some control pillar. I think this is causing a little bit of confusion here because it's all been encased inside I think it's what we're looking for is actually in here is it yeah sentinel access pillar warning boundary node exposed access logs okay sentinel uh, return to main controls warning boundary exposed what we can do is shut down the sentinel forces. Wave bottom put puzzling, immediate shutdown required. There, extract weapons technology one. Okay. That actually looks, that actually gives us a, a little bit more. Off. I've just completed a milestone. Counterfire gold sentinel technology. I didn't steal it. I didn't get it. What on earth is that? Sorry guys, I'm completely confused now. What we got here? Counterfire. Okay, let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Got paralysis mortar. We got unstable plasma. We got multi-tool expansion slots. Now we, because we've actually shut down the the sentinels here. What we should be able to do is actually collect the what we call it, um, gravitino balls if we can find them. Um, look round. What we're looking for is just over there. So top tip guys, if you want the gravitino balls, do it in the starter system. Because if you yeah, um... Wow. I thought you'd only get four or five here. How many got already? Got eight already. Um Thermal protection. Some of the oxygen. A little bit of sodium in there. Right, we're just going to go round. Some... We might as well do it, even if it's. Ah. This is freaky. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've got coveted suns. But we're still going to try and get a few more because this will actually make us some money. Um, there's so many markers and stuff all the way around here now. Um, any creatures that I'm very tempted to go and just fill my inventory up with gravitino balls, just take advantage of this. Um, we're certainly going to pick up the dihydrogen on the way through as well. Grab this. Can't upset any sentinels, which is absolutely awesome. And um, we'll just go, let's go around and scan the creatures for a little bit more cash. Although what we could really could do with is an upgrade. And we'll just get over and grab some more Gravitino balls. <laughs> Ooh, a veritable forest of them here. Actually. We also got to undo the unlock, but I think because I'm quite happily filling my inventory up with, I think I don't want to get too far away from my ship. I can find it. Where's my ship gone? Up, oh, the ship is over that way. So let's just work my way back towards that lot, and then I think that will be it. And we're let's get up over here. This destination reached. Oh, obviously I missed one. Yep. Where's my ship gone? The ship's down here. Oh, we've got a firestorm coming in, so we do not want to be hanging around here too much. We can grab those creatures. Let's just get back to the ship, get onto it before I die. <laughs> it's getting a little bit toasty now. Um, extreme storm. Yep, thank you guys. Yep. Um, I want to get into your base, but um, oh, it's close. How much space have we got? <laughs> right, we got a whole pile of gravitino balls here. I think I'm pretty sure I actually saw the more. Um, I'm pretty sure. 
uh, oxygen for portable refiner. Gut rock. Ah, because we get, we don't have the uh, hazmat gloves, do we? So we can't. Oh, okay. So much for that idea. I've just come outside again. So we uh, just make our way back and just jump in the ship. Don't think there's nothing in the storage vaults. No, it'd be very impolite to steal everything from the storage vaults, wouldn't it? Right, guys, we're just going to jump in the ship, get up into the space station, uh, repair the hyperdrive, see what we've actually managed to get from whatever we accidentally encountered, and what we should do is make a pile of cash from the. The, um, selling the gravitino balls if we just get up into space where's the space station there it is so begin docking approach go up to here make sure we have definitely got yeah, we've got coveted suns to get into here and uh, pull off all those gravitino balls that give us 1.5 million so we're no longer broke we can get rid of the unstable plasma always get more of that and what we need to do now is buy a so we can now repair our ship back over to the ship we can get over here whoops get here go to the starship and yeah, that so we've now got that we can put the hyper fuel in frame we've got some wiring looms that can go in there and we've got a big part of cash those can go in the high capacity so can they that makes everything a little bit more tidier We've got a multi-tool upgrade slot, but let's just see what else we've got now. So we've got this here. We've got plans for a scatter blaster, multi-tool expansion slot times three, ban scatter blaster upgrades. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need Pugnin for that, means we've got to kill Sentinels. So we got that reward now. Did I get the did I claim the other one? One that was yeah, we got that one already. So I think just to wind up, we're get over here and we're do the multi-tool upgrade. We might keep the current multi-tool. Um, so two, three, wow, four, five, that's six. <laughs> That may not have been such a good idea because we, uh, well, but, I mean, I wouldn't do that in a, a permadeath, but then I wouldn't get that level of multi grade upsize. Next thing we need to do, oh, I've already got the slot there. What now we could get hazmat gloves and things like that if we go to the base, but what we got here, suspicious scatter blaster. And put that in put that up in that corner there um suspicious scatter blaster module okay oops sorry about that we can install a scatter blaster we just need some pug if we if we mark it oh uh, we don't have enough how many wiring looms do we need um we got done the wiring looms we just need 200 pug we can get that there, just top that up. I think this is where I'm going to leave it. In the next part, we will go on and rescue an interstellar freighter, which I'm assuming is going to require me to do a hyper jump. Then what we'll have to do is get, call in the anomaly, get the upgrade to get the, um, the ups upgrade for the, uh, what we call it, the 
uh, warp drive. I <laughs> can't remember what it is now. I think that actually needs uh, um, chromatic metal. Let me just see if we can get some chromatic metal from this guy. Uh, now we've got some money. Get round another sixteen of those. Another uh, sixteen of those. Don't need oxygen. Magnium. <laughs> no, we shouldn't do this, but yeah. it just means I've got a scatter blaster. So uh, just buy that. Want 200, please. What that means is we can then whoops, no, install that. So I only got 82 nanites. Um, just, let's go here, off of the trade, see if he's got anything. Chromatic steel, quicksilver. Nope. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. What I might do is go back to that planet and see if I can get some more copper so that we can do the hyperdrive upgrade. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.